What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another 1212 AD battle for you guys and what we have here is the brave men of Hungary challenging the army of Bohemia over there. So we have two Eastern European factions and this is like, this could possibly happen this uh, battle um, in history you imagine. I mean these Hungarians here, they just, you know, they just can't stand those goddamn Bohemians over over there. They just had enough of them. They They want to be the dominant power of Eastern Europe and you know... All it needs is one big old battle to see who can take it out. So yes, we are here with a 12-12 AD battle. Um, it's a quick, just 1v1. I just thought, yeah, let's, why not? This is a dramatic battle. So we'll see what, um, so I thought I'd just share it with you guys. I mean, um, I don't really put much 12-12 on. I want to do more, uh, if possible. Um, it's always dodgy because of the replays and, um, and just finding players to play it. So I mean, if you do play it and you have the mod, please let me know in the comments, um, and we can get in contact and try to organise some battles. Because, and you may get on the channel because, uh, and your battle gets to get shown off, which is always great um, for you guys. So anyway, we'll quickly look over some of the uh, units that um, I have. So I brought some mercenary Swiss halberdiers. Brought two units of these guys. I didn't. I don't play them a lot of this mod, so I don't really know what's really good to play. So I brought swordsman late. Um, brought quite a lot of these guys. About five units. I brought Hungarian knights late and a few, just the one chevron. So I thought, you know, these guys got to be the best. They've got to be pretty damn good. And they do look pretty well armored. I mean, I, I won't want to mess with these guys. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He is, he's in no mood to mess around. He's ready to kill. Um, and then we've got my general at the back here. So, somewhere over there. Where is he? King's bodyguard high. I brought Genoese crossbowmen, which he probably probably hungry wouldn't have, but hey, you know, they look cool. They, you've got to bring the Genoese, and then I brought I mix up the archers. I brought some. Um, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that name, but some foot archers. So um, and then the Pavis spearmen, which you saw just there at the beginning. So, um, so yeah, that's what I brought. So we'll we'll play it um, while uh, the armies start to move up. Um, the uh, Bohemian player also brought Pavis crossbowmen himself um Hussites so, I mean I'm, there must be a different version as well it's not Hussite I guess I presume um he's brought dog heads or just a, basically war dogs um they got a lot of chevrons on they look really good he's chevroned up a lot of his stuff he's not necessarily bought the most elite stuff he's but he chevroned it up quite high so you got Bohemian Knights these guys are very well chevroned up these guys are scary he's put a lot of money into these so these are gonna be a high target high price target to aim for um and then what else has he got? He's got King's Bodyguard, late, excellent. He's brought Maceman. These guys are gonna look cool. Look at that mace. Look, that's I mean it's kind of more of like a small axe. That's a mace. That one there is a mace. Let me try and find it. Oh that one's also a mace. That is a that's a mace. Whatever that guy had over here. Where is he? There he is. I'm gonna name and shame you, sir. That's not a, that's more of like a hammer almost than a mace. Um, and then we've got Sergeant Spearman in the back here. They look excellent. They're looking like they're they're just Sergeant Spearman. I don't. There's not much to say about them really. And then uh, I don't think he. Oh, I don't think he's brought much else. Yeah, a lot of dog heads. So um, I'm gonna quickly just. I'm gonna put it on two speed because it, even though it's a quick battle, um, there is quite a lot of just standing off and just shooting each other with arrows, um, as most uh, medieval battles go, basically die either from a carry charge or an arrow. You're not probably going to die from a like a sword thrust or an axe. Because everyone gets too tired really quickly. Like battles just last like 10 minutes, like in foot engagements last like 10 minutes and then they have to have a break and then they go back at it again because they're all armoured up. That's It's pretty mad when you think about it. They're, all the films, what they tell you, they're lying. Look at them, they're all marching forward now in formation. Anyway, I love the shields, it's such a beautiful mod. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have to shout. I'm gonna play it normal because you've got to hear the shouts and just the march. It looks beautiful. We've got very similar shields. Like we've all got the. We, they've got the three tower thing going on. Um, they're pikes or halberdiers. They won't have the three towers. I mean, my pavis, wherever they are, they have. It's. I mean, there's something on with three towers. Where is it? There it is. There's one. Perfect. Don't know why I'm talking about that, but you know, just am. I'm going on about stuff. So. Anyway, guys, if you got this far in the video, I mean, we're not that far into it yet. Um, thank you very much for all the subs and the likes and stuff like that. I really appreciate the growing. 
um, channel and it's, it, it's just what I want. I want a, a place where you guys can come and chill out, watch a battle or a let's play and uh, from your stressful days or lives if you're having one and uh, and yeah so I hope you guys continue to watch and enjoy and give me support and uh, we'll see where see where it takes us. So I mean the uh, anyway back to the battle. Um, the archers are now within range. There we go the first volley! Volley! So the foot archers here are going to be at a bit of a disadvantage. I realised this was my first mistake after seeing his army. I should have brought all Pavi's crossbows or just all like Pavi sort of crossbows of some sort. Not necessarily Genoese because his archers are all protected from um, enemy arrows or my arrows because he's got shields and these guys, I mean two of these units, two of my arch units have shields over there, the Genoese, but these poor buggers Look at him, he's already bloodied up, he's already taken an arrow. So, um, so yeah, unfortunately these guys are probably going to get um, gunned down slowly. I can see a few getting hit uh, again. Yeah, it's not. that was my first mistake, I realised. The armies are very similarly, um, like, out, they're the same size, but because of his extra chevrons over here, he is got a slight advantage. And he's, he's also killed eight of mine, I've yet to kill one of his men. But that's no surprise because these guys, look at them. Look at these guys. You're not going to hit someone with their shields up. Anyway, he's moving up slowly. He's moving up Sergeant Spears now. He has got Spears on this side as well. I didn't see them. Anyway, look at them. Look at these majestic men. And anyway, here he goes. The war, the dogs of war are going. And I was looking elsewhere. I think I was maneuvering my archers or maneuvering cavalry. I forgot what I was doing. I was doing something. But anyway, I didn't see these dogs and cavalry come in. And... Oh, it's painful to see these poor, these poor cavalrymen, these elite cavalry that I brought. And, oh gosh, it was a yeah, and it was too late, too late by me. I just these guys are already doomed. They are doomed. Look at all those dogs down there, just nipping, nipping at the horses' ankles. It's pretty nasty. I don't want to be a, a Hungarian knight in there. But anyway, the Hungarians are already fleeing. It's a sad sight. Um, and then move on, on the other side, I decide, well, if he's going to cavalry charge me, I'm going to cavalry charge him. So that's what happens. So, up this hill we go, boys. Over this hill. We just about see their lances. Don't know what's on the other side. Death is upon us, and he's coming down on a nice downward charge. He gets a nice charge off on me, and that is... I mean, I think I get most of the momentum. He kind of gets the downhill charge, which is probably helping, but... Looks like I'm kind of winning more on this side, but then he sends in dogs. These goddamn dogs. The, the hounds of war, as one might say. But yeah, they're, yeah, they're already wavering in my troops on this side. Look at them. They're already breaking. I mean, so are his men. So it's a matter of who breaks first. Same here. Both breaking. The dogs are probably what are keeping his forces in it. And already, here you go. Hungarian knights breaking again. I was very slow setting up my infantry. And um, I've sent up infantry over here to support this cavalry, but there's there's no chance of it probably winning. These pa these poor pavies, they really need to be used in more of a choke point area, um, and they're very much out of formation. Like, look at these guys over here; they're just getting cut down. Like, they're supposed to make a shield wall with their spears, but they're not getting chance. And already, these ones are breaking. So it's already looking very very dire. He's barely lost any men. I've already lost about 200. Oh god, that's a nasty charge with the king bodyguard. I did just miss that, but that is a nasty charge. Um, we can hope we can assassinate the general um, to try and give ourselves a chance. But I mean, look at this, these swordsmen. I mean, I love their swords. They're dying, but their swords look cool. Oh, he's doing it. Poor man. He's like, just, just leave me down here. There's so, so, so much death going on. But um, yes, we're sending up. My Swiss Habardiers are going up now. Um, I'm trying to get them in combat deal with these sergeant spearmen. Look at this shield wall that's being formed here. This is insane. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and in comes my general. He's coming in for a charge. I just forgot about this. This is a pretty good charge. Oh, that's a nasty charge. They'll pay for that. But he's now able to, because he's freed up his, his knights, he's able to send them in to attack my general. So my general's now in a bit of trouble. Which is the only problem. He's got no infantry support either because all their inf all the infantry's now over here engaging. These macemen are ripping my swordsmen to shreds. These poor guys. They're like, I'm getting no look anywhere on the battlefield. It is 
becoming an absolute devastating like defeat for me at the moment. Defeat is imminent. Um, he's Macepin. You know, you, actually, no, he's got a Morning Star. That's pretty cool. That is a pretty cool Mace. But yeah, look, there's so much breaking going on. It is. I've lost about a thousand men, uh, and he's lost two hundred. It is one of my most. I don't know what is going on, to be honest. I was like, I, I'm trying everything that I know works, but um, my halberd is having some luck. But they, they're they um, very vulnerable to a rear charge right now, and he's got a lot of cavalry to do so. And our general's just died. So it's probably it's probably not looking good. But these Swiss halberd is, I thought they look a bit more professional. The Swiss are known for their like, really cool halberd is, but look at this guy. He's not even got a helmet. But I mean, yes, yeah, so these halberdiers are doing okay. There's a few dogs still around, which is quite funny. Um, I'm not really sure who's actually winning this. Who's, is combat even? Um, yeah, I think as soon as he gets around these flanks, like, look, like he's doing here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of dogs left. But yeah, look at these dogs. They're definitely going to be doing some damage to these poor boys. Yeah, they're losing decisively now. And in, in comes the infantry of these dogs. I mean, it's kind of a good idea to bring them because you get the men and the dogs. So it's like double the size of the unit. It's quite a smart idea by the uh, player. So kudos to him. But uh, yeah, he's just gunned them down. And decisive defeat. It was one of my most decisive defeats ever, I'm pretty sure. But um, so yeah, I lost about... Look how many men I lost compared to that. It was ridiculous. I just thought I'd show you this battle off because mainly because... Um, I had no other video planned for the for the day today, so I was like, oh, I'll do a I'll do a twelve twelve battle. But I got absolutely schooled in um, this. He's, I'm not even going to try and pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. But the Bohemian player, amazing uh, twelve twelve player. I'm just tip my hat to him. And it's all I can do. But I mean, let's quickly look at some of these. My I mean, let's not even bother looking at my stats. My king did okay, and that's about it. Um, but I mean, the king over here, two hundred eight uh, sixteen kills. His maceman doing excellent as well. Um, his crossbow's doing okay. It's his cavalry, Bohemian cavalry, doing excellent. And his dogheads doing very, very well as well. I mean, yeah. Oh, my goodness. They were devastating. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed that quick, quick battle and watching me get my uh, ass handed to me, then leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, guys, bye for now.